So I want to ask you something that uh, I posted on Twitter. I said, hey, do you guys have any questions for James? The biggest question that came up was the FBI raid that recently happened uh, on one of your employees <clears throat> with the whole diary thing. Um, why don't you give us, why don't you tell us what happened and give us an update on that? Well, I mean, um, I'll try to summarize uh, an ocean of words in 30 seconds, but uh, FBI raided my home, uh, confiscated my two phones. It was an unconstitutional violation of press freedoms. Even the ACLU and the Reporters Committee thought so because they defended me. And this a source sent us this, uh, this document, um, this diary. Uh, we have a right to receive documents from sources. Um, even if this, the document was stolen, we didn't think it was. And even if it was, we would have a right to receive it and to publish it. But we chose not to. We couldn't authenticate with 100% certainty that it was Joe Biden's daughter's diary. I was fairly certain, but not 100%. And further, we couldn't corroborate what she wrote inside of it. For example, she wrote she had inappropriate showers with her dad, Joe Biden. But we didn't know if she did that, and we didn't know what that meant. So I chose not to publish it, which I thought was the ethical decision. You could debate me on whether I should have, but I didn't. And we gave it back to law enforcement in Delray, Florida, where it was apparently abandoned at a house. So this, the FBI does this. It, it promotes shockwaves throughout um, journalism and throughout the media. This is in November of last year. And then a federal judge in New York ordered them to stop going through my phones. And right now it's sort of in the courts. I haven't got my phones back. I haven't been charged with anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, as Tucker Carlson described, it's sort of third worldism, right? To, for a, a federal agency to raid a journalist's home and put me in handcuffs and then confiscate my my reporter's notes and and these sorts of things. It's it's really a, a, a such an egregious uh, a, a violation of of human rights. Um, even people who didn't agree with me or agree with what we do was were forced to defend us because they don't want to be raided by a DeSantis FBI or a Trump FBI. And uh, you know there still seems to be some overlap of consensus about this in this country.